I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio in the Color tab. And I've already done just a very basic color grade on this clip. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust the lighting here on this wall in the back. So I basically have these three nodes set up here. And this node, I just did some color grading on. And this node is where I'm going to do most of my work. And then we'll just leave this node blank here. So to start out, I'm going to come over to our window mode tab. And then I'm going to come down and click on the gradient mask. And then I'll move it up here a little bit. And then I'm going to come over to my curves here. And we'll just turn this down in the middle here. So I'll click in the middle of the curve, hold the mouse button, and I'll just drag it down ever so slightly here. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll adjust this to match the kind of the slant that we're going for here. So I'll move this over. And again, we're not really going for perfection here. So I'll move this up. So as I move this arrow up here, this will make the line more defined. Go like that, maybe tilt it up a little bit. So we'll keep it on something like that for the time being. Let's come back over to our curves here, just tweak this a little bit to get it to where we want it to be. So right away, we're already making this background look a little bit more interesting than it did just with the, the white wall. So we'll go back to our window tab here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create some little slivers of shadows that lead lines into our subject's head here. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to, to curve here and hit new curve, and we'll create a little sliver going down. Click a point up here, click a point right here, click a point right here. So you're just making these really long triangles is what you're doing, and then I'll complete it. Okay, so you can see here, this creates a very sharp line leading down to our subject. We don't really want that. That's a little bit too sharp there. So we wanna soften the edges. So we're gonna come back to our mask node here. Okay, so we're gonna come back down to our window node here, and we're going to click on our, our pen mask here, and then we're gonna to go to the softness and we're going to turn the softness up. And let's go ahead and move this down a little bit. So as I'm doing this, it's all just about creating the, the shapes, adjusting the softness, adjusting the, the brightness and the curves. It's just kind of a combo of that over and over again is what we're doing here. So I have four different masks here. So I have the gradient mask, and then I have three of these pen tool masks that I created. And you can do as many of these as you want and get really creative with how you wanna etch the shadows. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we want to, we don't really want this mask here, this background, these background masks to apply to our foreground here in our subject. We wanna make sure our subject's face is still well lit and it's not too dark here, because to me that's, that's a little bit too shadowy. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on my middle grade here of, so this is my mask node here and I'm gonna hit Shift S on my keyboard to create a node behind it. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to do a tracking mask and mask out the foreground. So to do that, I'm gonna come over to my nifty magic mask tool here, click that, make sure it's set to better, refine edge. I'm gonna set this to about 16. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything in the foreground here and mask it out. And I'm gonna make sure that my overlay is selected as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen tool, hold my mouse button down, and I'll zigzag around everything. And then now I'm going to track forwards and backwards. Now we'll go ahead and invert our mask. And now we're just getting the background if we scroll back to the beginning here. You see it's just getting the background right now which is what we want. And then we'll uncheck this overlay. Okay, so as I'm editing this tutorial, one thing I forgot to tell you is after you do your magic mask, you're going to want to come over to where this blue square is, hold your mouse key down on it, and then connect it to this blue triangle up here that's connected to your gradient masks. And we'll go to our final node. And then we just have our background that the light is hitting right now, not our subject's face. Now, if we scrub forward, you'll see that our light doesn't really change. So how do we 
how do we make that to where it's going to match that shakiness in the image and that moving forward with the camera? It's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our mask node here. We're going to go back to our window tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to track each of these masks here. Let's go ahead and select our gradient mask. And then we're going to come over to our tracker here. And we'll go ahead and track forwards and backwards. Okay. And then we'll come back over to our window here. And we'll do our next one. So I'm going to do this for all of the masks that I've created. Now let's play the final piece and see what it looks like. All right, so there you have it. That is how you change the background lighting.